Hey Google admins, this is Goldie again and today I'll talk to you about Google's newly launched functionality called partial single sign-on. So in case if you are using or considering Google Workspace or Google Cloud Identity and you plan to use or if you're using single sign-on, this new functionality will be very helpful. So let me share my slides first to make you understand how this functionality will be working and then I'll show you the live demonstration to see that in action. Now before even we talk about the new functionality, let's take a step back and understand what were we missing without this new partial single sign-on functionality. So till yesterday uh, or maybe day before yesterday, in case if you're a Google or Cloud Identity or GCP customer, what happens is if you plan to integrate uh, your authentication with a third party identity provider like Okta, Azure or Ping, etc., then once you turn on single sign on, all your users will be redirected to that third party identity provider for authentication except the super admins. But sometimes you would have use cases where you need partial authentication system where all your full-time employees will be redirected to your third-party identity provider, but your contractors should rather be leveraging Google's own authentication system. So this launch will help you with those use cases. So now let's understand uh, the flow of, of authentication with partial single sign-on. Let me move myself here a bit. Okay, right there. So this is how the new flow looks like with the partial single sign-on you would have your third party identity provider profile created as usual you have done that already if you're using sso but what's new here is that instead of just turning on the single sign on for the whole tenant now you can specifically define whether this sso profile will be applicable to certain groups or organizational units or the whole tenant okay and now when users when they go to log in they will enter their email address and based on that there will be an identity provider lookup behind the scene to see whether this user belongs to a specific organizational unit or group and what's behind that org unit or, or group in terms of the authentication profile. Is it the Google profile which means users should be redirected then to Google uh, Workspace or Cloud Identity login page itself or it's the third party identity provider like Okta or, or Ping or Azure, and then users will be redirected to that IDP, okay? Now, before I show you the live demonstration of it, just a quick piece of information. Let's talk about the logistics or the requirements to set a partial single sign-on. Number one, of course, you will need a third party identity provider, uh, such as Okta or ADFS or, you know, whatever. And then uh, you, uh, the delegated administrator. I mean, if you're a super admin, that's fine. If you're not, then uh, the delegated administrator should have security settings privilege. Plus that user or the delegated admin should also have groups and org unit read privilege. Now, uh, you know, once you have org unit read privilege, you should be able to apply the settings and organizational units. But in case if you do not have groups uh, read only permission, then you will not be able to see the groups when you're doing the configuration so you won't be apply you won't be able to apply the policy on groups but only on the org units and finally the user read privilege that is optional uh, you can't apply the partial single sign on policy to an individual user but on the screen where you will be making these changes you would be able if you have the user read privilege you should be able to enter users email address and then you can see which profile whether it's Google authentication or the third party IDP is assigned to this specific user. Now, one more point before we move towards the live demonstration, Google Workspace and Cloud Identity Super Admins by design bypass single sign on and they can log in directly with their Google credentials. And when I say by design, think of a scenario where just in case if your IDP server goes down, you do not want to be logged out and let all your people not be able to log in to Google. That's why if you're a super admin in that specific scenario, you can just log in as your Google credentials, turn off single sign on, process your troubleshooting. Once your single sign on is back, go back and 
turn on single sign on in Google console. So with that understanding, let's look at the live demonstration of partial single sign on in Google workspace or cloud identity. Here I am in my G Suite admin console. So first I will go to security settings to show you that new uh, functionality. If I go to third party identity providers, I have already configured Okta as my IDP, but what new here is this assignment of profile. So when I click on manage assignments, here I can click on the organizational unit. For example, when I click on Goldie AD, which is my root, I've uh, said no profile assigned for SSO. That means users uh, in this uh, tenant, which is the uh, main tenant, that means that covers everything under this, should be signing in via Google. However, for the contractors organizational unit, I have overridden it and uh, said that it has assigned it has been assigned the SSO profile, uh, which is Okta in this case. So essentially, when my users in contractor organizational unit now, when they go to log into G Suite or to Google Cloud Identity, they should be uh, redirected to Okta. However, any other user in my tenant should. Uh, uh, directly go to uh, Google to log in. So now let me open an incognito window and let's see the demo. So I will go to Drive for example and here if I say uh, employee uh, at my domain.com which is my G Suite user in, uh, in my main tenant it is asking me for my G Suite password that means Google is the authentication provider. However if I go ahead and change that email address to contractor because this contractor email address is part of my contractor organizational unit which has that uh, SSO profile assigned it should ideally be redirected uh, to Okta for authentication so when I click next you will see that I've been redirected to Okta so this is how this functionality called partial single sign-on work well, that was it. I hope it was helpful for you to understand how partial single sign-on would work. As usual, in case if you have any feedback or comment or question, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate with that. Thank you so much.